Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who don't know, if you haven't figured it out already, my name is Mariah and I am a Canadian flight attendant. Recently, I had the opportunity to spend 48, I know, 48 hours in Hong Kong, which is absolutely insane. And it was such a fun time. So that vlog is coming for you guys next. But first, I wanted to show you guys how I prep my skin, what I can do at home, and the self-care steps that I take before a 15 or 16 hour flight, or any flight for that matter. So, I am so excited to bring you guys this video. Thank you to Vanity Planet for sponsoring a portion of this video. And without further ado, let's get into the skincare. First order of business. Hair goes up. And frankly, I am like oddly matching my bathroom today, but it doesn't always happen like that. So, so usually I would wash my face of all of like my sunscreeny type things, but I don't have any of that on because I didn't leave the house today and all I have is moisturizer on already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate this thing and steam my face for a little bit. Realistically, all you have to do is just put, it says distilled water, but I'm really not that fancy. So, I just put some alkaline water, and uh, hopefully it's the same thing. And if it's not the same thing, then my apologies. I just do this, get all my pores opened up. This is like a 15 minute max, I'm pretty sure, before all of the water like runs out. So. There are even these little like head pieces that go in the steamer that you can actually dip essential oils into and then you can like have an essential oil steaming on your face. I have pretty sensitive skin so I'm not about to do that to myself. I had a really bad reaction to lavender oil a few years back. So I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna put myself through that kind of danger. I really wanted to thank Vanity Planet for this opportunity as I steam myself for the internet. It's a good time. Obviously, this isn't a travel-friendly item, but whenever I have the time and the energy to do it at home, I've had this thing for about, I'd say like a month and a half now, and it's just so nice. It's nice. It opens up the pores, it opens up the sinuses. It's a good time. If you guys want to buy one, you can use the code that's on the screen right now and click the link in the description box for one for yourself. And like, who wouldn't want a facial steamer? Like, hello? I'm gonna take, this is the New Beauty Vitamin C and Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Um, this is my good friend Emily's line. And honestly, I've been using it for, I don't even know when, I don't even remember when I got this, but like I've had it for so long that it has started to oxidize just a little bit, but. That's just what happens when you have organic things and stuff. Oh, no, wait. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Used first, I wanted to use my Ula Henriksen um, Dark Spot Corrector. What is this called? Glow. Glow. Dark Spot Corrector. High potency AHAs, which is great. It's fun. Did I use the glycolic acid first? Honestly, I swear, I feel like. I'm gonna use this first. I have the like least little bit of the ordinary um, glycolic acid. This is the this is the seven percent toning solution, which isn't open. As I try and juggle the serum that is in my hand, but if there's anything that being a flight attendant has like made me realize more about myself is how much of a scatterbrain I am and can be. Okay, look at that. Look at, mmm, gross. And then with another one, see, look how wasteful. I just, I'm ashamed. But with another cotton round, I'm gonna put the toner on top. And frankly, I don't really know if what I'm doing for my skin is a good deal or not, but I haven't burnt the skin off of my face yet, so we should be okay. There we go. 
now back to regular scheduled programming. And just put this all over my face. Oh, and don't forget your neck. Susan Yarno would be so mad at me. I talked a little bit more about my skin in my last video, which is the first installment of my skincare in the city series that I'm having here on my channel. So if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. But I don't know. Ever since becoming a flight attendant, like skincare has become very, 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 very important to me. The last thing that I use is my Ulla Henriksen. I think this is like this vitamin C, what's this called? The C Rush Brightening Gel Cream. And I think I have, I have a pretty heavy rotation of moisturizers that I use. Oh, that was a lot. But the thing is, is I have very, I'd say like sensitive skin, if you will. And a lot of the moisturizers that I have, I bought like in the dead of winter at, at some point when my, when my skin was not as hydrated as it is right now, clearly. And I find that they're all very, very, um, what's it called? They're all very thick. And that's basically my skin. Show y'all a little close up of my skin. I mean, I still, I have some, hold on, this is very strange. I have some, like, just random pop-ups. Like this was a lot more intense than it was, or than it is right now. Let's see if I can close you guys up. So. My skin is on, it's on a journey. It's getting there. But hopefully it'll be done soon. You know what I mean? Feel me? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one.